the owners have voted and spoken to approve the new hybrid kickoff rule. It is a radical change. This is completely BS. This is shame. It should not be a problem to come out and be strong here to start the third quarter. Tonight's second half kickoff brought to you by Bing. See why people prefer Bing for the web's top searches. Bingiton.com. Short kick. Percy Harmon with the catch. He's on the run. He breaks free. He's across the 40. The speed. There he goes. Midfield. Look out. He's going to go. Take the second half kickoff all the way back. Baby. 88 yards for a touchdown. We knew Percy was going to do it tonight. Touchdown, Seahawks. No flags. Are you kidding me? Percy Harmon. The Seahawks fans, the 12s are going nuts. And the Seahawks stretch their lead to 28 to nothing. I don't believe it. If anybody doesn't think or wants to know the reason why they paid this kid the money that they paid him, this is why. These are the type of plays that he makes all the time. He's so explosive. He can take it at any time when he touches it and to take it the distance. And that's what he did right there on this kickoff return. An 88-yard kickoff return. He already has a couple of runs on the day for 45 yards, a catch for five. Percy Harvin. Oh, my word. Stephen Housh gone for the extra point. It's, it's all about the ball for the for the Seahawks. Here's the kickoff. Harvin was back. It lands in front of him at the 11. Gets it on a bounce. He goes to the 15, breaks a tackle. 20 comes up the middle of the 30, breaks another tackle the 40. He makes a move by the kicker. He's down from the 50 to the 40. It's a foot race to the 30 down the near side. The 20, the 10, the 5, and it's a touchdown. Percy Harvin has just returned the opening kickoff of the second half. 88 yards. And they will be making some adjustments as well at halftime, especially on defense. Ones. Yeah, they've got to make some, uh, f- first of all, to, to try and handle the Seahawks' pressure uh, as far as their front is concerned. And then defensively, yes, they, they definitely have to make some changes. they got to get more pressure on the quarterback because Matt is having a lot of time back there today. Here's Kading's kick, end over end. Washington, half a yard deep, brings it out. Up the right side, numbers 10, 15, has a break, 30, 35, turns up field, he's going to go. Midfield, 45, 40, 30. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Leon Washington, 101 yards, no flags, what a way to start the second half, Leon Washington ran a kickoff back against the Chargers as a Jet last year, he did it again today, holy smoke, the longest in team history, 101 yards, and this is what we've been waiting for out of Leon Washington, our special teams have been very good since the season started. Last week, we had Golden Tate had a huge return in the punting game. We've had some other big returns this year. Leon Washington caps it off, taking one back 101 yards for a Seahawks touchdown. There's the extra point by Olindo Mari. And remember the, the angst at the end of the half? We couldn't get that score. Wait 12 minutes. Come back out of the <laughs> locker room. And we answered. And let Leon run one back. What a great return. Now, I tell you, he'd be the first one to say there was a crease and some good blocking by the guys up front. There was a huge crease over <laughs> on the right side, and he hit it. And once he got to the kicker, Kading, it was just one little move, and the rest is history. Nobody's going to catch this guy from behind. He has great speed, and all he had to do was run until he got to that goal line. I saw a shot of Norv Turner standing on the far sidelines, and he looked like he just swallowed a salamander. I mean, he looked just sick at his stomach. What a way. This Not necessarily that this breaks a team, but, boy, that kind of play is a backbreaker. And I'm sure he had some things to say to his team coming out of the locker room, but they weren't very effective because that's the way his team responded here on this first kickoff to start the second half. They've got a lot of uphill climb to go now, the Chargers do. So hopefully the Seahawks can continue to ride this momentum. This crowd stays in the football game. And we just continue to do the things we did to get this 17-point lead. The best thing to do is try and kick it out the back of the end zone. But Nate Kading doesn't have that type of leg. So I think they'll try the pooch kick again, try and get the ball up in the air really high. And then hopefully his uh, coverage team will get down the field in time to get Leon Washington before he gets going. But... I like our chances. Kading tees it up at the 30. He'll be kicking left to right. Washington out at his own four-yard line. Kading gets this one deep. Washington at the one. Grabs a five, 10, 15. Steps over a man, 20, 25. Breaks through, 30. He could go, 35. Midfield, 40. He will go, 30. 
20, 10, 5. Oh my God, he's done it again. 99 yards for a touchdown. Two kick returns for a touchdown in the same game. We are Washington for president. And if you're the San Diego Chargers special teams coach, Steve Crosby, you're wondering what the heck do we have to do to stop this guy? We've tried to kick the ball deep. We've tried to kick it short. We've tried to hit it on the ground. All he keeps doing is bringing it back for touchdowns. If Who needs an offense if you got Leon Washington? If you're Steve Crosby, the special teams coach, you're getting a roadmap and an apple looking for a job. <laughs> Here's the extra point by Olinda Marley, a high snap. John Ryan does a great job getting it down. The Seahawks tack up another seven. Unfortunately, there's six and a half minutes left to play in the game. And the last time I checked, Phillip Rivers was still on that far sideline. And the only guys that might be unhappy in this building is that defense. They're like, we got to go out there again. <laughs> when are we going to get some rest? They do need some, some rest, but I think this type of play will give them some adrenaline for the next time they go out on that field. And hopefully they'll play with some inspiration, play with the energy of this crowd, and hopefully that will carry them through. Leon Washington. Today, this game has the longest kick return for a touchdown in team history and the second longest in team history. 101 yards and that one 99 yards. What a touchdown. And, hey, you can score a touchdown with Geico. Hey, 15 minutes. Save 15% on your car insurance. Tell them Leon sent you. Visit Geico.com or call 1-800-947-AUTO for a free rate quote. He is worth the price of admission, Leon Washington. I've got a sneaking suspicion he could be the special teams player of the week this week. Win, win or lose. 27 to 20. The Seahawks go right back on top. Would you have ever imagined this? I mean, really? No, you know, I got to tell you, we were out there Friday at practice. Let's see the return here. And a big return for Washington. Oh, help. Trying to go the distance, he's got one man to beat. And a touchdown for Leon Washington. 92 yards, his third kickoff return for a touchdown this year. Well, it typically takes a play like this to jumpstart you. I don't know, down 40 to seven. You're gonna probably need a whole bunch more of these. But this is a beautiful return. He's done this with this team all year long in a closer ball game. Look at this, and a great job. Then he just brings it back across the field like all great open field runners do. Got the ball on the outside hand. You're not going to catch Leon Washington when you got an angle like that. Gave the Dolphins a first down and a chance to tie the game. And they've been their own worst enemies today, that being the Seahawks. Ten penalties, 59 yards. Leon Washington on the run. There he goes. Leon Washington. He's going to score. Did I not tell you early in the game that that dude is ready for a ripe? I mean, he is ripe and ready for a big return. His eighth career kickoff return. And he ties Josh Cribbs for most career kickoff returns for touchdowns in NFL history with eight. 98 yards. Yeah, and the reason I said it, Chris, is studying their tape. He's been so close so many times. He's just been an electric returner throughout his career. They tried to directional kick him, get it down the numbers. And just look at no wasted movement. It's an outstanding block out on the edge. Once you make that, that kicker miss, forget it. What a great story Leon Washington is. For the fans that may not remember, that guy came back from a catastrophic broken leg to resume his career as a terrific returner. A Florida State Seminole. In the Sunshine State, he runs one back in the shadows to give the Seahawks the lead back. Leon Washington from Jacksonville, Florida, with a touchdown return and a terrific run back of 98 yards, and the kicker was dismissed. No chance. I mean, that is the biggest mismatch on the field, the kicker in open space against Leon Washington.
just running right by Milford Brown makes it tough. You got to get the ball out of your hands, out of the quarterback's hands. Jeff Wilkins short, and Nate Burleson is going to take it. Cuts back up field, gets by the kicker Wilkins, and a huge return for the Seahawks. Burleson still on his feet. Nate Burleson touchdown Seattle, 91 yards. And just great blocking up front. What you want to do on a kickoff return unit is let your guy hit a crease at full speed. And you see him right there. McGargo 59 overruns it. And now it's a foot race. Straight arms one guy. Got a great block down the field. And he can just run. Watch him. He hits this crease at full speed. He doesn't have to change directions. Gives Jeff Wilkins one move. And now it's off to the race. Already today, 81 yards and a couple of scores. And there's still 8.30 left in this opening quarter. Nate Burleson takes the kick past the 20. That's not Nate Burleson. And still on his feet and going strong. Josh Wilson headed for the end zone. Touchdown! Josh Wilson ran that back about 150 yards. 89 total yards credited as Josh Wilson has taken back his first career kick for touchdown. Watch Josh Wilson. He catches the ball right here. A little miscommunication back there between he and Nate Burleson. But now he just uses his speed, gets outside. Great balance right there. Then he's able to just cut back. The Rams in their pursuit angles were not very good. And anytime you get a guy that's going to cut back across the field that far down the field, you should have guys coming back to make that tackle. And the Rams coverage unit just broke down. Josh Brown is out for the point after try. It looked on that kick return as though Wilson handed it to Burleson at one point. Instead, it was all Wilson. An 89 yard touchdown run. Well, there's Josh Wilson on that kickoff return. He actually made a mistake. And he knew that he made a mistake, too. This is Nate Burleson's ball. You see Josh Wilson, he comes over, knows that that's Burleson's ball. He almost hands it to Nate. And, you know, what do you do when you make a mistake? You better atone for it. So, what does he do? He runs it 89 yards for a touchdown. The Dolphins threw more than they ran on that drive, and Dan Marino was a perfect six out of six. Rodgers and Kerry Joseph, and this will be Charlie Rodgers, lost the handle, picked it up. 20, 25, 30, and here he goes. Oh, Lindo Mare to beat. Charlie Rodgers with the touchdown. Of the football probably helped him with the oncoming Dolphins. Sometimes it throws off the timing of the team running down trying to make the tackle and that time the Dolphins seemed to almost stop and when they stop Charlie Rogers you see the quickness and the speed he takes advantage of it. As proud as can be of Charlie Rogers. Well watch this hop the football takes it looks like it's going to hang on the ground it's going to be falling all of a sudden it pops up and Charlie Rogers you've got to be impressed how quick and how fast he is once he gets going. First kickoff or punt return in postseason history. There's Charlie Rogers. Gets two very nice kick returns. High short boot kick. Rogers again. Another big return. The bounce. Charlie Rogers, see you later. Charlie Rogers, I, you know, great return, man. See a seam, hit it, and go. And what he does, 
on this play. Watch this. He sees the middle now, and now he explodes. There are no more breaks. He's gone. I want you to focus on Chris Watson, number 21 of the Buffalo Bills. I'm going to spot him for you right there. See him right there? Watch what he does. He's going to go over here. He's not even looking at Charlie Rogers. He'll go over and take on the block of Kerry Joseph, number 21. Instead of looking for the ball carrier, he went over and ran into a, a blocker. Davis is getting a workout is deep. 24-10 Seahawks. All you need is a kick return now for a touchdown. Davis from the five. Oh! Takes a rip as he got back to the 30. He was drilled by Tim Terry, his second big tackle on special teams. Is he airborne or is he on the ground when the ball comes out? I think that's loose. Recovered by the Seahawks. And it is Wool the fumble and recovered by Seattle. Take a look at this. Number 59, Antonio Wilson, comes in and he hits him right square in the mouth. And the ball just comes loose. I, I think he's almost half out in the air. And they're already down by 21. Dwayne Bates is now back to return. No. Delayed and takes it out of the end zone anyway. Pays for it. Fumble Seattle looks to have it. Bates was ripped by Tim Terry again. If he's not the special teams player of the week, this should be an investigation. He is just killing people. You know, the one thing about on special teams, when you go down the field, it is reckless abandon. But what you have to do is get yourself under control. And when you look at Terry get himself under control, look at this. Wham! He goes right at the ball. I mean, you talk about sacrificing your body. Oh, and he's coming like a missile. Watch the right part of your screen. That's the first mistake. The second is you don't see the train coming. And he capped it off with the touchdown grab. So Devin Hester will try to answer for visiting Chicago. And that one's headed to Oregon. Hester makes the return start at the goal line. Oh, there he goes. And it's Josh Brown that takes him down <laughs> WWE style. <laughs> yeah. Just jogging down. He's the safety. Now he just sees Devin Hester breaking out. He's going to go make the play. Look at him. Drills him down. Now look at him. Step into a sledgehammer. Like what? 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 On a yard out as Ricky Waters is in the end zone for the uh, fifth time this season. Howard, rookie return specialist, and he is not cold as the ball might be recovered by Seattle. Now it's not. Now Soward somehow held on. I haven't seen a guy get hit that hard all season. That was a train wreck. Tamaric Vanover will return the kickoff tonight. One year ago in his first game for the Chiefs against Seattle, he returned the opening kickoff 99 yards. He's been injured with bad ribs. He's 98 yards away on this opening kickoff. My goodness, do you think Seattle was aware that Vanover was there? Jay Bellamy, number 20, made the opening tackle. In two weeks that the Seahawks have returned an interception for a touchdown, two in this game alone. Vicious hit by Amon Green, the rookie. We haven't seen Green carry the ball last week. He gained 100 yards on six carries, all in the second half. But he is obviously a vicious special teams player, and Pete Rodriguez loves it. Well, Pete was telling me that he was looking for one guy to emerge on this special team to be the attitude guy. Green, rookie from Nebraska, is almost Woo! as fast as Joey Galloway. That's just a vicious hit. But what excites me about this is what Green does when he pops up off the ground. Back to Seattle, the Seahawks kickoff after they've just taken a 6-3 lead. Goes downfield, a very fast down. Oh, Odegaard, he pops it up, and the Seahawks have it. David Daniels might have recovered, but it was Chris Warren who made the stick. Number 42, as Don Odegaard is having a tough day. He had two foul calls on pass interference in the first half. The mistake he makes is when he gets up in the air here. Warren does put his helmet right on the football. Daniels is the recoverer. First and 10 at the 
yard line. See, when he gets up in the air, you can't protect that football. You're exposed. Big break for Seattle. The Jets' second turnover of the game. Seattle's turned it over once. Denver won the tackle. We see on Hebron is the deep back on the return. And he is going to field it at the one-yard line. He comes out to the 10. There's a block in front. Has a bit of an opening. Slides through. Nice return out to about the 19-yard line. Peterson will be kicking off for Seattle. On Hebron is the return man. And he will field it at the six-yard line. To the 15 and is nailed. Whoa! <laughs> helmet to helmet with Michael Barber and Barber won. Oh, you got to be kidding me! I like no, that kind no, of contact. It was, it was Jason Kyle. Jason Kyle. Oh, oh! Jason Kyle absolutely separates Von Hebron from the here and now. Right there. And the ball. And is that a lucky bounce or yes, what? It is. You know what that thing does? Watch what it does. The hit comes. Hebron goes away, the ball goes away, but it hits Kyle in the head and comes back to Hebron. Wow. That is a very lucky bounce for Denver because that's worst case against this Seattle team in this loud stadium. And the kick from Norm Johnson. Darren Nelson at the goal line. Oh, what a hit. Oh, Sam Merriman. Darren Nelson just got Sam Merriman's helmet for lunch. Number 51. There it is. Oh. Of course, this one was a very key with Wayne missing that tackle, Lane going at the six. Lawrence Johnson kicking off to Darren Nelson, and Nelson gets the ball to the 21. Is there a fumble on the play, or was the ball down? I think they're going to rule that I think they're going to rule that Darren was down when the ball popped loose. Usually the first player down gets around his block there. You know, as a linebacker, though, in college, he used to return kickoffs. So he's a good... Oh! Oh! Ooh! Helmet that hurts up here. Helmet in the Ooh. chin. Johnson hangs it high. Gotta let the coverage get deep downfield. Here comes Doki Williams. Oh! Ah. Oh, wow. Oh, Williams is flat. Oh, my aching back. Recently Young. activated Don Dupac. It should be a law Freddie against that. Young, the man they told us about. He is really something on special teams. Out of New Mexico State, a rookie. He's got to be a rookie. <laughs> yeah. The goodness of life. When they get to the second year. And you got, you mentioned Don Dupac, number 35, you see coming in there, too. Is what activated today. Oh, what a hit. That was Dufac underneath yeah. and Young on top. Norm Johnson with a 35 and a 44 yard successful field goal. Kicking off to either Greg Pruitt or Clee Montgomery of the Raiders. Here's Pruitt from the one. Right there, oh, number 50. Oh, yes. Fred Young. Right. Kicks off now. High spinner downfield. Won't carry too deep. And here's the rookie, Stanford Jennings, running the ball. Whoa, fumble. Three football. Yes. Jay, the Raiders in the third quarter have only scored 20 points, which is the lowest output in the third quarter of any team in the league. They're going to have to change things around here. Whittington is at the 10, the 15. Fumble. Oh, You can see the helmet hitting right on the football, pops loose. Rodell Thomas came from the Miami Dolphins, a free agent. Two touchdowns in 13 seconds. You see number 86, the ex-quarterback Mike Tice puts his helmet in there and knocks the ball away. When it rains, it pours. Everything's going the way of the Seahawks. And I don't have to look in the book. I can tell you that's Rodell Thomas's first touchdown in the NFL. It's Herrera, Mike Nelms, and Wilbur Jackson are deep for Washington. 
Herrera hits it well. That's Jackson, one yard deep. At the 10, 20, 30. Boy, did you see Herrera come over and make the tackle? Number one, Efren Herrera, he came over like a linebacker. He didn't shy for one second. He's unique, perhaps, among kickers, because many kickers figure they're just kickers. The friend says, I'm not a kicker, I'm an athlete. He said, I make tackles, I go down. He said, I can throw the ball, I can run the ball. And you see him right there. He's not afraid to put his body in there. I admire that. I enjoy seeing that. And I, he's, a, he's one of the most colorful characters in the NFL. A win tonight for them, and they would move to within one game. Oh, oh kick Seattle, they got it. They've got it, Frank. They it should have it. had a wide open. It should have been handled. It was, but ultimately, there was no Falcon lineman in the area. A friend Herrera hit it beautifully for Seattle. And now this team we saw a moment ago go on fourth and seven. Zorn scored from 34 yards out. Now they come with an onside kick. Let's look again. Are you learning anything, folks? This is great football. Give Jack Patera all the credit. All he, the call, credit he calls the it. World. They surprised everybody in the stadium, including the three of us in this booth. Atlanta had nobody over there to get the ball. As you see, Seattle has two or three people going after it. I and finally, Keith Simpson, I think, Keith 42, Simpson. Re re recovered it. They have been successful on two or three onside kicks. Do you try it here? There, no, because they're looking. Well, they did it. Yeah. The Packers are really looking for it. for it because you said Green Bay was looking for it. Three out of four times this year. And there's a flag down at the 48-yard line. Am I right? It was Herrera himself that came diving underneath to recover it. They've done it three times, successful twice, and Herrera is the man who does an outstanding job of just dumping it. It has to go 10 yards, that's all. It is 10 yards. The Packers were looking for it. All five men were up. That was a fantastic move. Defense is back two years ago. That's right, O'Donohue kicks off. Zachary Dixon at the 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Up the sideline, Dixon may go all the way. Touchdown, Seattle! Zachary Dixon picked up from Baltimore on waivers. Touchdown. You know, you might expect that from Seattle on a punt return with all done. Zachary Dixon, he gets some good blocks, sets them up, comes inside, then bounces back to the outside. And he's, boy, look at him striding out to the distance. Oh, that's beautiful. That's one of the great plays in football. That's the first kickoff return for a touchdown, we're told, for Seattle. Now, Wersing is into the ball. Hits it deep. Bobby Joe Edmonds, a splitter from Arkansas, ready to bring it back for Seattle. He's across the 20. Breaks it. Eight to the 30. Look out. One man to beat. Don Griffin. Bobby Joe Edmonds in a sprint to the goal line with a great cutback move. He'll take it the distance on the kickoff. 90 yards, and Seattle's on the board. this play works so quickly is watch how quickly Edmonds gets to the entire San Francisco kickoff team. In five yards, he's through him. He's passed Ray Washington and an excellent block here by Randall Morris. He gets he gets Griffin down. I mean, the thing about that kickoff return is that I don't believe a San Francisco 49er player touched it. We'll watch it from behind Bobby Joe Edmonds. Once he pops through that initial line, you can see what happens. See if anybody touches. Look at the excellent job. Everybody right there, Rusty Tillman, the special teams coach, makes everybody carry out those blocks. Nobody from San Francisco has touched him yet. Now, Randall Morris, 43, keeps his feet, stays up, doesn't go to the ground, becomes the personal interferer for Bobby Joe Edmonds. Let's see if Don Griffin, nobody touched him in 91 yards. Start. 
he expects as physical and as tough a game as the Seahawks are going to be in for some time. He knows this Kansas City team is still up despite the one and three record. Into the ball is Nick Lowry as Kansas City kicks off. Jefferson runs the ball back and takes it across the country. James Jefferson, an all-corner, all-pro from Canada, breaks into open field, and it looks like he's going to go the distance. One man in pursuit. He'll not make the play as Jefferson goes 97 yards with the opening kickoff, and Seattle takes a 6 to nothing lead. James Jefferson you see him take the ball here inside of his own five yard line he breaks one tackle right here and he gets a chance to reset here and this is what really makes the play there's a nice move right there now watch number 57 Tony Woods come into the play is a man 45 trying to catch him and Tony Woods makes a great choice in not trying to make that block and allowing Jefferson to go you see number 45 Stan Petrie coming close to Jefferson and Woods just holds off and Jefferson just trots that baby into the end zone, and that's the way you want to start a football game. Rocket in the Mile High City. Fred Rogan and Todd Christensen. Mile High Stadium in Denver. You see the story. 31-24. It's a seven-point game. Seven minutes and eight seconds to play in regulation. Derek Lavelle and Chris Ward awaiting the kick of David Treadwell. Warren, two yards deep, will have a run. Warren up the middle. Warren, it's a foot race to midfield, to the 30, and run out of bounds by the kicker. One of the best part of Seattle's team is their special teams. Rusty Tillman takes great pride in that. We have a player down on the field. But what a run back by Warren. 71 yards. Take another look. Well, here we get a chance to see he's following the edge right there. Someone just goes down on the field. Right in front of him there, Heller gets a good block on Ty Allen, and that springs him to the sidelines right here. It's a foot race, foot race rather. Wyman Henderson has the angle on him, and of course you're going to see the kicker come over here and shove him out of bounds, or at least attempt to, as he gets stiff on there at the 30. But that's a huge play for the Seahawks to set him up three first downs away from a touchdown. Down on the field for the Denver Broncos is reserve tight end Chris Verholz, 6'2", 249, in his third... Very tough-minded guy. Carney's kick will be fielded by John Vaughn. Vaughn twisting and turning. Breaks into daylight. And Vaughn down the sideline. Carney can't get him. One man to beat. Nice cutback by Vaughn. And he will score. 94 yards, John Vaughn. Wow. Bond's been threatening to do this all day. Just sort of casually going along. You can see the Chargers relax a little bit. Carney's going to have a shot. Kind of. <laughs> Darian Gordon gets turned around on the play. Outstanding run by John Vaughn. 94 yards. Vaughn with tremendous speed ran a 10-200 meters in the Junior Olympics in 1986. Once he got out there in the open field, he was gone. David Akers makes his NFL debut. And can he kick it? Here's the guy that went to the University of Louisville. I watched him in pregame warm-up. And this ball will explode off of this team. He was signed off the practice squad earlier left -footed. this week. First left-footed kicker in Redskins history. And lets it fly. Steve Broussard breaks open. He may go all the way. Touchdown Seahawks. What a start for them. Ninety, 90 yards. Ninety yards Woo. for Steve Broussard. What wow. a terrible break for the Redskins on the road to go down on the opening kickoff but one good point if you're a Redskins fan you still got 
four full quarters minus five seconds. What? I did, he never returned kicks for me. That's why I'm with you, Sam. There you go. Watch him bring this thing back. He's going to break it off to this side. Not a man lays a glove on him. Blocked to perfection. Had that little alley. And he always had great speed, and he can hit it. Well, at least you drafted him in the first <laughs> round. Jamal Williams. Watch Jamal Williams for the Redskins try to uh, catch him and gain on him, but he can't. He was a great speed back in college. Been hurt a lot here in college, in pros. Been hurt with every team he's been with. Been with the Falcons and been with Seattle. Great run back for Steve Broussard. 90 yards. Came to the Seahawks as a free agent in 1995. Morris back deep to take this one as Seattle will have 29 seconds to work with here before halftime. There is Morris from his own four-yard line. And he's got oh. room. Look out. Oh. One blocker ahead of him. He could go. Oh. Down the sideline. Oh. And a touchdown. <laughs> 97 yards for Morris. Morris, his first <laughs> touchdown of the year. You've got to love it. My goodness, if you're the Rams, where is the steak that you grab out of your heart? Now there's 97 yards well, to the house we, for Morris. We, we just missed it, but you're going to see the wedge develop right there. And then once you suck everybody in with, with, with the wedge, you're going to see Archuleta is the only man to beat downfield. All you have to do is just keep him away long enough, and Morris does the rest, getting in the end zone. But it started with the wedge. You hit the wedge going 150 miles an hour, like, like Morris did in that play. And then Archuleta just tried a feather to just waiting for his buddies to come along, but no one can catch up. Nice execution by Seattle. And believe me, there are a lot of teams that, <laughs> you know, the guy's going crazy on the bench, but there are a lot of teams that do not spend a lot of time on special teams and their return teams, believe it or not. Seattle is one of the teams that spends an extra long time on their special. It's Big O Tires National Anniversary Sale. Buy a set of four, select tires, and get up to $100 off for limited time only. See participating stores for details. Waters kickoff taken at the goal line. This is Lewis Rankin who can run 35 40 by Waters midfield 40 later 30 20 10 they won't get him Lewis Rankin takes it the whole way back the former Raider with a touchdown here 99 yards on the kickoff return to make it 27 to 22. Well that's one area that they got to improve because that's two weeks in a row they brought it to the house on, on a special team and and that's inexcusable. You've got a bunch of guys that are trying to fight for their lives on these special teams, and they're running, they're, they're running down totally out of control. The only guy who had a shot at him, Jim, was the kicker. Waters tried to grab around the shoulder, but Rankin so big and strong and moving so fast just ran right through that. Kicker kind of like a quarterback, you know, had a little tough time. And they also showed good rhythm, you know, and then they ended up with a touchdown. So that's the way you want to end your drives. Hey, look at this. A kickoff return. Doug Baldwin. There he goes. First return of the night. Baldwin takes it all the way back for the score. No flags. 105 yards and a Seahawk touchdown. It's amazing how the league has tried to take away one of the most exciting plays in, in pro football, but. Because of a penalty, we get the, a chance to see one. 105-yard return by Doug Baldwin. Had some great blocks. Found the right seam. Got a good block there going up the field. Good cutback right here. Breaks the tackle at about the 10-yard line and just goes into the end zone for a 105-yard touchdown return. Here's the kick. Prater kicks it deep to Curse. And he's going to bring it out seven yards deep. Out across the 10. Turns up to a 15-20. 25 to Ray Curse, 30, 35 stick on, down the first line, line, he could go, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Seahawks, but a flag is down on the far side of the field, and it may come back, it was 107 if it stands, but there's a flag down near midfield, what and a, there could was, be that, a push in the back. That looks like a bad call. All he did was push him down on the ground. He extended his arms and pushed him down. I hope they're talking about that. 
There is no foul for holding. Thank you. Hello. That was a yeah. That would have been a bad call. Did I say touchdown Seahawks? Yes, you did. Thank you say you. it again if you want. I love how you say that. <laughs> touchdown Jermaine Curse. 107 yards. How about that for getting right back on top in a big way? And the Seahawks, you know, been looking for kick returners and Jermaine Curse. All the things that he can do, he just added to that list. He really did. And that's the more you can do, the that's how you make the football team. He's a good special teams player as far as covering kicks. And you just saw him there as an explosive player returning a kick. And we also saw him score the first touchdown of this ball game on a pass. So a guy that's very versatile. And they'll line him up in the backfield sometime and hand him the football. A very good football player. Tyler Lockett has just taken the kickoff the length of the field for a touchdown. <laughs> and here it is. Now, the Denver Broncos are not going to be in a laughing mood after this. Now, watch Pete Carroll come into the screen right there. Hands up, touchdown. Not so fast. He gets run <laughs> over by the sideline judge. But not a laughing matter for the Denver Broncos. Special teams so critical. See the side judge right into Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll takes think, the charge. I think Pete took the worst of that. Look at the official staying on his feet with the spin move, throws the flag. And, but this is something that the Broncos, this will not be taken lightly. Let's see, though, what happens with this first possession of the seventh half as the Bears, the first two games, have seen the opponent take it down the field and drive it for a touchdown the opening two weeks. And here's Lockett, the rookie from Kansas State. Down the sidelines and unstoppable. 105 yards. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Watch how he takes the football in the end zone. He measures it, Jim, when it's in the air. This is a Bears kickoff coverage team that gave up a kick return on the opening kickoff last week against Arizona and Lockett just before taking the field got some sort of big pep talk we saw it with Pete Carroll and the rookie has now returned a punt and a kick for touchdowns in just the third game of the season he's not touched look how he catches the football at full speed that's how they teach you get momentum if the ball was kicked low, which it was, they want you to bring it out of the end zone. If it's kicked high, then stay in. The blocking was good, but the Bears got out of their lane. It looks like he's going to kick to the right side from the right hash mark. I, I watched him on the sideline practicing these before when the Seahawks had the ball. There it is. Bounces high. Seattle has a chance. It's bouncing around. The Seahawks got it. The Seahawks have it in midfield. They got it. Coming out of the pile with it is Chris Matthews, the big youngster who played in Canada, signed here. He's been worth the price of admission on that play. Seattle still has life with 2.07 to play. And it bounced off of a, a Green Bay Packer right into the hands of Chris Matthews, just the way you want to draw it up. I don't know who that Packer was. It was number 86, but he's the one that, that couldn't hang on to that football. So until that returner then catches the ball, no one can move. And once he catches the ball, then we're going to see uh, that sort of uh, kick team go at the receiving team from about five yards apart. Different sorts of body types on these return teams. They are who we thought they were. Okay. Well, if you knew who they were, why didn't you stop them? We let them off the hook. And what, what's happening over here during whole season, I've been holding it back, it's a complete crap.